Hello everyone, this is going to be a short lesson about uh, modeling a fender, the A5 fender, uh, as you've been waiting for. So I'm starting with a network of curves, and as you can see, uh, these are pretty simple curves. We've got the shoulder, shoulder curve, this is five, degree 5 and degree 3 only, with curvature connection between the two curves um, and here very basic curves too uh, again curvature connection between this curve and this one okay this area is at the moment not necessary plus this one last curve which is very basic too so the thing is to keep these curves very with a very low degree to be sure you can control the surface very easily uh, after when building the, the different surface together okay uh, so I'm gonna start building the, the big square surface here um, okay this is gonna be free on every boundary explicit control zone 5x5 five five. and okay that's it Um, okay, so you can adjust the boundary curves to get the, the reflection you, you need. You can check this. Oh, I just forgot to say that the curves are are based on the on the prints. I don't have the prints in this in this uh, scene, but uh, it's very easy to to place the, the shoulder curves and the, the wheel arch curve, etc. Uh, after it's just a matter of uh, of having good reference to to build the, the surface correctly uh, okay so this is pretty pretty what I need to have the thing I'm doing after is building squares again here okay I'm gonna work with zebras then here and here I'm gonna say curvature on curve on boundary number two. So here I can see that I already have a nice uh, zebra pattern on the on the shoulder on the on the wheel arch. And the thing is that I can adjust the curve here by moving the CVs. So what I usually do is putting some curvature and hiding the grid, putting some transparency uh, to see the, the CVs uh, through the, the zebra through the surface, and then move the CV uh, very slowly, uh, whether in the nerve direction or XYZ direction with a small step. And I can play with this one and change very easily the, the 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 shape I have on the on the on the fender. Same thing here. I can play with the curve. It's still a degree three, so very easily I can play on the way the the the, the highlight is gonna end on the shoulder line. You know, and here at the bottom, on the way the the highlight is gonna end in the fender. So basically, uh, uh, it's very cool because I only have two CVs, one for the uh, one for the shoulder line and one for the fender. Okay, same here. Okay, and same and same on this one, of course. So if I want to have something symmetrical, I need first to work on this area very very easily. So. I want to get something like that and try to keep the, the 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 small circle more or less in the axis of the wheel okay and after of course I need to connect these zebra curves with these zebra lines with these ones so this is where the fun begins so what I do first is let's say this curve has no historical okay 
that's already the case here. Um, what I'm gonna do is rebuild it with degree four, then use the project tangency to connect it to the surface. So here I can choose to connect here. So let's see, it's not in a good direction. Okay, let's do it again. Like that. Okay. And here I want to have curvature. Okay. And put it in side view and adjusting. It's a bit weird on this one. That's what happens sometimes. Okay, not too bad. So I'm seeing, so, and I still have this CV left to play with the shape in defender area, okay? So, what I'm gonna do next is building a square like that. And just wanna be 